All right, this is our piston filler model 250, uh, FP250D. All right, what I'm going to explain here uh, re uh, pertains to all uh, of our uh, D version piston fillers. Um, what I want to focus now is what, what the valves are, these four valves that you see here, and then later on I'm going to show you how to adjust for the uh, particular uh, dispensing of the product. All right, what well, you have to understand what these valves control is the, in the speed of which the, the pneumatic cylinder reacts. Uh, if I adjust this one, it's going to adjust how fast the, uh, the piston goes in the reverse. And if I adjust this one, it'll, sh it'll, uh, it'll control how fast it acts in the forward. Okay? Uh, in this particular cylinder, what it does, it changes the position of the rotary valve. Uh, it, it, for most cases, uh, if not all cases that I can think of, I would want this cylinder to act as fast as possible. Uh, for this reason, I would like for these cylinders uh, or, or these valves here to be open fully and, and pretty much not adjusted, okay? And then these valves here, they control how fast the filling piston uh, actuates. If I open this piston, uh, this, this uh, valve here, it's going to control how fast the piston goes in the forward direction. And if I uh, open up this one, it'll uh, speed up the direction of the piston in the reverse, okay? On our D version machines, it's important that the, the speed of the, um, of the cylinder or the, of the piston be faster than what it could, the, the fluid inside the cylinder could drain out. If you make it too slow, the, it, the, uh, and the piston or the liquid does not, uh, is not forced out of the piston, it can naturally drain, so it gives give you some, pre, uh, some errors in, uh, uh, in metering. So it's important to make sure, if, especially if it's thin liquids, that the, you adjust the, the speed of the forward speed to be sufficiently fast so that uh, it has a little bit of pressure to it. Okay, now uh, in, in order to show how to adjust the, uh, how much product you're going to dispense, I want to take off this cover because uh, you're better able to, or may, at least I'm better able to uh, explain how the machine does its, uh, its metering. Okay, this is your, your uh, you, the, the piston that controls the main, the, the, the filling cylinder. Okay, you have two sensors. You have this position, this sensor here that's always fixed. Uh, it is uh, the home sensor. And then you have another one in the bottom that I call the limit sensor. Okay, what the machine does when it does a cycle, it's going to drive the piston from home to the limit. When the, uh, this sensor sees the piston inside or senses the piston inside, it's going to reverse the machine, the, the direction of the, of the airflow, and it's going to for, reverse the direction of the piston, okay? And in order to adjust how much it's going to dulcify, we can, all, with, with a hand wheel here, we can adjust back uh, towards the center, or if you want more, you can make it go further. You also always have to understand that when the machine is idle and it's waiting for the next cycle, this piston is going to be full at all times. And when it, you press the pedal, it's only going to dispense how much you're telling it to. Okay, right now I'm going to show you what, what the, how the machine dosifies. As you can see, the, the, uh, when the machine is going to dosify, it's going to fill from the home sensor to the limit sensor. And when you turn this wheel, it's going to move the position of the bottom sensor. So the further we take it, uh, the further along the axis we take the, uh, the sensor, the longer the stroke is going to be, so the longer the fill, okay? Right now the, the, uh, the sensor, the limit sensor is near its, its, its maximum range, so we know it's going to be close to 250 ml. Okay, this, this is a graduated cylinder that goes up to 250 ml, and it's just short of 250 ml. Uh, for this case, I'm going to set the machine up to dose of 520 ml. Okay, so I'm going to pull back uh, roughly to the center, and then I'm going to tweak it from there to get the machine adjusted on how I want to. Okay, right now I'm just visually looking at the at the position of the sensor. Okay, I'm going to take it roughly halfway, and then I'm going to run a cycle and see where it goes. Okay. Right now I'm looking at uh, 
And we're looking at the cylinder to see how much it's dosifying. Right now it's at about 140, so I'm going to take it back down a little bit. I'm going to gradually go back down to get it to 120. Right now it's at about 130. Okay, right now it's going to be hard for you to tell, but it is at 120. All right, right now I'm going to set up, uh, in, in the next part, I'm going to go ahead and set up some bottles. And I'm going to run so you can see how consistent the machine fills from one bottle to the next. All right, I got about six bottles that I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly run through them. Uh, these bottles are a little bit larger than 120, uh, I'm, I'm assuming they're about a 200 ml. All right, so I'm just going to quickly, uh, quickly uh, run through this so you can see how accurately it fills. As you can see, and by the level of all these bottles, it's very consistent, it's very smooth, and it's very accurate. Uh, you know, give or take, but the, just simply looking at it, you can tell that they're all even. 